Okay, let's do a short demonstration of how Parsec Soda works. Here I have the app, Parsec Soda, I have Patty, right? And I have a Parsec client, official one instance here running. Then I'm going to start a room, right? Doesn't matter the amount of clients, it's a it's a private room. And then Parsec Soda creates four gamepads to me by default but I'm going to get rid of them because for this demonstration I need a specific setup so you guys can understand what's going on uh, okay I need indices in the specific order so this is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 it already does things like that but I'm, I want to show you how it works so the fourth one I'm not going to plug because I'm going to use a physical gamepad in my hands for that. So I'm plugging it in. Here it is. You can hear me clicking. It's a real one. It's physical. It's not virtual. Okay. Then now I'm going to log in into my main account. I'm going to join my own room. And Parsec Soda shares my first desktop. That's what it does. And here in, in Parsec Client, you see my desktop, right? My actual desktop. Good. There's the chat, the commands and stuff, bot commands. Right? I'm going to leave this instance right here at the corner because I need to switch focus back and forth since Parsec requires focus to work the, the, the original one right then I'm going to limit the amount of gamepads my account can use to two because when you're a host and you join your own room bad things happen if you're sharing the whole desktop you get infinite loop you get audio infinite audio loop you get infinite gamepad loop you get all sorts of loop back and for the this we don't usually do this right join joining our own rooms because we don't need to we're the host, we, we can just use everything straightforward. But okay, let's let's continue this thing. Then now I'm going to press a button on the keyboard and the a gamepad here is going to be automatically assigned to me. I need to focus the window to send the message right from the client. And here it is. This is my keyboard. If I press here, I have control of gamepad one index zero and now I'm going to press focus here right if I unfocus it stops working the keyboard and, uh, focus here and press the a button in the gamepad the physical one and then I get one more gamepad the four the number four is my real one it's not virtual and this one is the virtual one that this is controlling because this thing it should be in the client machine right you won't see it here but the I'm the host and I'm the client myself so yeah we get things like this so yeah keyboard and then the the gamepad and if I switch this thing like I drag and drop then now I'm three I swapped the gamepads and, and now the virtual one assigned to me is the number three the same thing for keyboard I move this keyboard moves along the thing and that's how this works